Okay, Gemini, let's see what you guys have for me today. We're going to look at two, look at two, look at two. <laughs> look at your fortune and your blessings, what is coming your way. And we're going to go for your side here and your person's side, okay, with the tarot. Okay, so let's begin here. If you are still wondering if the 50% off and the, yes, it is. And every day, I'm going to show it to you guys here, we get hundreds and hundreds of order. Overwhelming. <laughs> okay. And everybody has been talking about it and how much, I don't know, clients, abundance, prosperity that it has been giving and giving. Okay, so just in case you're wondering, it's free shipping for multiple fortune and multiple blessing if you are in the US, but we do ship international. Visit our website, eatreadlove.me. It still comes with our money magnet free. This one is free. Okay, so you can check it out. I'll tag it in the corner of this video. Okay, so at this point, everybody's wealthy. Okay, everybody's enjoying their time. Okay, let's see here. Fortune and blessing for the Gemini. What I see for the for the Gemini is a chance to start all over again. Um, it's going to be a very hectic time for you because you will be removing... So it's like spring cleaning is what I'm seeing for you. It's more of getting rid of the old and something new coming in. So it can be just cleaning out your closet. This, I feel, is overdue. Any kind of energy that is surrounding you, you are given the opportunity to start fresh. You're given the tools also. So it's like a rejuvenating kind of spirit energy that you're having right now. It's very refreshing. This is something that you probably have been craving for a while. I love that. You are also climbing as something about a peak, can be like a peak of your success, you know, can be in your career. I'm seeing it here. I see also that there are some people from the past that may be lingering, but I feel like you're just, no. <laughs> just what you're saying. Oh, sorry enough, someone from the, from the ex, from the past is starting to message you. But anyway, let's go to your tarot here. Let's see. Ooh. Are we in vacation? Because the sun card is a vacation. Okay. The Geminis are coming in strong with authority and power. I love that. You're empowered right now. You're in a crossroads. You're in a crossroads. You're trying to understand whether you still want to be in this relationship. You're not sure. Because I don't know what, what stirred this, but it's giving independence vibe. I don't know if they're clingy. I don't know if they're trying to control you or tell you what to do and not do. But right now you're 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 inside your head and you're saying here, let me think. I'm happy with them. I feel so good. They're my soulmate. But then there's a part of you that you want growth. I feel like the two of you are in a different frequency with regards to relationship. I mean, like not relationship, yeah, with regards to how you deal with you know with relationship. I'm seeing here where you're realizing that in this journey that you have, it's more of you want someone who has a, like a purpose like you. You have, um, you have, it's like you're yearning for something that they cannot give you. I don't know what that is. Because the, the vibe is there. You guys have gone through so much. But then I just don't understand why you have a two of swords. Two of swords is like thinking to go on a three, which means to end it. I don't know why you're there. And then you're the emperor taking charge. So what made you, you're being pushed there to the two of swords, but it's happy. It's a very good card, you know, with the sun card. It's one of the most amazing cards. It's the happiest card in Tarot. It's like you're leaning towards someone else. It's like you're leaning towards a choice, which means either you have an option that you want to pursue and you don't want to be with them, or you just want to be single, or you just want to be open for now because 
you I feel like you're outgrowing the connection fast. Or you're just a Gemini and you're getting bored. I'm just saying. You're mercurial. You know, you like to be uh, you know, intellectual conversations. You want to have something that um that has a depth. And you thought that there was, but there is though. It feels like you're looking for something that is not existent. It's a desire from your person. Hmm. I'm hearing you want them to grow up because if the son is a baby, you want them to be more mature. Like, I, I wish you could handle this much better. I wish you could have done this. You're wishing for a lot of things here from them. Hmm. That's what I'm hearing. You're surrendering. It feels like your person is pulling you back from something that you want to do. So it's like, no, I want you. No, I need you. No, this. And you're right here with Eight of Swords. You're telling yourself, it's like, hmm. I'm open to a lot of things, but to be controlled, to be, you know, I'm vulnerable to you. I'll do everything for you, but you can't make me make decisions. So right away, you left the chariot. Right away, your decision was to bounce. Can we can see an Aries over there. Okay. I feel like your person stopped talking to you ever since that day. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing. I'm going to look into your chart. Everything right now, in you know, because the, uh, the sun has left um, the third house for you, which is in Virgo now. Remember, I do say you're astrology, not Western. So it's Virgo season. Don't get confused. So this is about your place of comfort. Okay. So you're realizing, oh, this is what, this is, this, what, this is what works for me. It feels like you want to focus on your career. Your person is holding on to you. You want to have fun, but your person is holding on. And then they now, from what I'm seeing, your cross watcher here shuts down on you. I'm not going to talk to you anymore, Gemini. No, I'm not. I'm going to resist any kind of, uh, like, kind of like trying to work this. But they do hold you in the Ace of Cups. You see? How can this be? Like, why is it not working? Is my question because you love them, they love you. What's wrong with that? Now, I'm not sure if they express that because of Four of Pentacles here, this is someone who was shut down. Then you have the Prince of Wands over here, which is can be younger, and that's not working for you. Like there can only one kid in this relationship, and it has to be the Gemini. They're mercurial. But they're acting up the way I see this. They're moody, and when they're moody, you can't talk to them. And they're moody, they they have all this, I feel like, emotions and feelings coming out. But when you ask them if they're fine, it's like, oh, well, whatever. So you can't get you can't get a straight answer from your person here. And I feel like that's adding to your stress. And you're here with the Eight of Swords, and you're telling yourself, what else do you want? What else do you want? While you open up, they shut down. They ignore you. Give you the cold shoulder. Nothing. Crickets. Mm, crickets. And then the moon came out. So definitely puts you into nothing. Like to the darkness. So this becomes a secretive person. Hmm. They do have a secret. I can tell you that. The moon has always a darker side. Not everything is illuminated. So if you go one place, it's lit. The other is not. So there's always two sides to a story. And I see here that your person, Moon, Ace of Cups, do love you. But Moon and the Three of Cups, they if they're not expressing to you, is because they have some sort of connection. Not with you. They can be pouring their emotions to someone else. You felt like this is your soulmate, but they're feeling different. Love is there, the connection is there, but right now I feel like they always change your mind. The moon, waxing and waning, full moon, new moon. There's an eclipse coming, the 14. And you have to be more aware of, you know, basically what decisions you're about to make. And then what did I say? Okay. That, you know, there you feel like you're soulmate, 
your person has the two of cups over here and that they're pouring their cup to someone else. There's an extended reading to this in the comments and in the description box below. We're focused on the next 30 days, okay? If you want to find out more, look at this. A soulmate card. My question is, because there's a gold cup, all right? Gold cup right there. And then there's a gold cup right here, if you guys can see. So who did they express that love? Because that's what you're questioning. You're asking yourself right now here. They want you to wait. They don't want you to take action. Oh, well, things are about to go a little bit. Mm. Yep. Oh, well. Oh, and that's okay. Mm. Now I know what they want. See? I knew I was right. If you are connecting with this reading, link in the comments. I'll answer more of your questions down there. I'll see you.